welcome back to your new Agent Mastermind. I'm your host, Julie Harris, and today we're going to be talking about something really important that's going to serve you well for your entire career starting today, and that is how to have a real estate conversation. It's so important, or you might say how to have a conversation about real estate, right? So I'm going to make it really simple. This isn't even really a script. It's a simple memory jogger, and it's easy to remember. Just write down the word Ford, like the truck, right? F-O-R-D. Well, that's going to remind you what to talk about when we're having a real estate conversation. F stands for family, O stands for occupation, R stands for recreation, and D stands for dreams. Again, family, occupation, recreation, dreams. These are simple talking points which accomplish a lot of goals for you. One is it's a great icebreaker. Number two, you're making the conversation all about the person you're talking to. You're not forced to feel like you have to talk all about yourself all the time. Nobody wants that anyway. And then, of course, we're going to lead the conversation towards real estate. That's what the O is all about, occupation. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing is everyone has a family. You can ask family questions. You might say, Tim, you know, it's great to meet you. Have you always lived here in Orlando or is this someplace you moved to from somewhere else? I hear a little bit of Midwestern accent. Did your family grow up here? Easy. And they're going to, to just start talking and all you have to do is listen. They probably are going to ask you a reciprocal question. Are you from here or did you move somewhere else? This is just your icebreaker. You're getting to know you, getting familiar with each other. Super easy because everybody has a family. Okay, then you're going to do the O, occupation. Now, let's say you're talking to somebody you already know and you already know where they work. You might say, uh, Tim, how's life over at ABC Corporation? Are you still working with that division that you told me about last time we spoke? But what if you don't know what they do? You can certainly ask them, gosh, you seem like a really interesting person. What is it that you do for a living? Or maybe they've already told you and you can say, I can't remember what you said you did for a living. They're going to talk all about their job, okay? And your job is to listen. Again, this is not a scripted conversation. It's a memory jogger to help keep you on track. The reason that this works is because of the reciprocal question you're about to get. What do you do for a living? Now, again, if they know, they're going to say, how's real estate? And we'll talk about that in a second. If they don't, you're going to say something. Don't say something goofy like I'm a house counselor or something like that. You're just going to say, I help people buy and sell real estate. What are you most curious about in the real estate world? Seems like there's lots of headlines today. Something like that, easy peasy. It's opening the door for you to talk about real estate. Now you don't talk about recreation or dreams so much. It mostly just helps you remember to do the Ford conversation. Uh, but if you do get to recreation or dreams, it can be really simple. Like recreation could be, have you seen the latest movie? You know, maybe a, a think Top Gun came out. Have you just seen the new Top Gun? What did you think of it? Recreation can be anything. Maybe you know that they love to water ski and it's in the middle of the summer. Gosh, what's the best place you've been to water ski? What's your favorite lake to do that on? And then dreams could be something as simple as what are you most looking forward to for the rest of the year? But let's go back to occupation for a second. When they ask you, how's real estate? You have a simple answer. Real estate's great. I'm so glad you've asked. In fact, I've made a commitment to myself to help three more families this month buy or sell real estate. Who do you know who I should be helping, right? Who do you know? Not do you know, because they'll be like, nobody comes to mind. Who do you know who I should be helping, right? And so this is a nice organic conversation that 100% of you can do 100% of the time. Now your homework is this, start using this. All you have to remember, you don't even have to write all this down, just remember four, family, occupation, recreation, dreams. You, as you're driving around, as you're going on your appointments today, just think family, occupation, recreation, dreams, and then start actually having those conversations. Maybe you're getting your hair cut this afternoon. Try it out. Get comfortable with that conversation, and then eventually it's just going to become part of you. You won't even know that you're doing it. You're just going to start that conversation out. Now, your homework is to do that and to have at least 10 conversations using your Ford memory jogger this week so that it becomes part of you. This is a, again, I'm not going to call it a script. It's just a reminder. It's something that you're going to use throughout your entire career. And the better you get at this, the more comfortable you're going to be having those real estate conversations. Remember, our topic today was how to have a real estate conversation. 
Don't be a secret agent. Talk about real estate all the time. And soon you're going to find you're going to be at a coffee shop or a restaurant and your ear is going to tune right into some real estate conversation. And now you're going to be comfortable talking to somebody about that. Now, if you'd like to join our coaching program for free or join my husband, Tim, and I at eXp Realty, all you have to do is refer to the information on the description for this video, and it would be our pleasure to help you at the highest level possible. Thanks for being part of the New Agent Mastermind. Hello, thank you for having watched this video. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right, and don't forget to hit that like button, leave your comments and questions below, and we will get right back with you. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to watch the next one. You're going to love that one. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.